About 63 buildings earmarked for demolition to make way for a road project at above four in the Ashanti region is creating anxiety among owners. Residents are pulling down the structures without proper arrangements just 13 days after notice was served. It's unfair. They are surprised and disappointed at the development for which they want government to intervene. Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin's report. 17th of April, this last month, we were here and some people came and marked our house, telling us that they, they would demolish it. We were thinking that uh, they were joking. Really, four days or later, they started doing their work. Hamidu Salam is one of over 500 people here in Offenso South Municipality who are likely to lose their property. They are demolishing the houses. We have no place to sleep. That is why we want the government to come in and tell us whether it is right to be doing that work, demolishing our houses without any compensation. We don't know whether that one is the right thing to be done in Ghana. They've not told us where exactly they are relocating us to. I've had this land for close to 30 years now. She Dachi is a physically challenged widow. Her husband died last December and she now has to fend for herself and three children. So I ask if there are any plans for her. As I speak with you now, I have a fractured hand. I have lost my husband. I have lost my child too. Now where to lay my head has also become a problem for me. I pleaded several times with them not to demolish my building, but all fell on deaf ears. Well, maybe a miracle would save Madame Dachi. I leave God to be the judge in this demolition. It is exactly a month now after I return from my husband's funeral. And look at what has happened to me again. For many others, however, they can only look up to God to change their fate. They gather to discuss what they say is beyond them. Neither local authorities nor the project engineer could be reached for comment. A report by Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin.